My military service taught me an important lesson, that there is value in serving others, and that there is satisfaction in being involved in a cause that is bigger, bigger than you are. Military service also taught me the value of teamwork, uh, the joy of working together with others for a common purpose. And my military service taught me patriotism and, and love of country, that for over 200 years, men and women have fought for freedom and democracy, have defended this great nation, and have carried its principles and its values, its constitution and its Bill of Rights forward. Without their service, we would not have the country that we enjoy today, and we should be grateful for that. I was certainly happy to be part of that. Families are very important to our veterans, because without the support of the family, a young man or a young woman is going to have a lot of trouble serving on difficult and dangerous missions abroad. I can tell you from my experience that the support of my family was tremendously important. And I remember when I was in Vietnam during the Tet Offensive, I received a, a large brown envelope from my mom. And inside were about 30 self-addressed and stamped postcards and a note that said, Rob, your father and I don't know whether you're dead or alive. But if you're okay, put one of these postcards in the mail every day or so. You don't have to put a message on it, but just put it in the mail so we know you're okay. And I realized at that point how important I was to my family and how important they were to me. Without our families, our military simply would not be what it is today. I'm a Vietnam veteran, and when I came back from Vietnam, the American people had turned against the war. And at the same time, they turned against the veterans of that war. And it wasn't a pretty situation. I was not allowed to return home in uniform because I was told, you might get in trouble. People might call you names. That was a sad situation for us, that we had fought a war that our country no longer supported. And so now, when I see a veteran in a train station or an airport, I make it a point to go up to them and say, thank you for your service, and God bless you, and keep you safe. And I encourage others to do the same. Our veterans make great sacrifices for us. We need to thank them for that service.